Hi, and welcome to Lunch with Lisa, Weekend Treats Edition. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make pineapple cottage cheese jello. It's a family recipe. It's lunch with Lisa. Okay, so hang on, don't go. Stick around. This is actually really good. And it's a recipe that's been in my family since I can remember. I grew up eating it. So yeah, some of you, it might seem disgusting. And if you have a problem with cottage cheese, I'm sorry, that's just, just skip this recipe and move on. <laughs> Every year at Thanksgiving, my aunt makes this and she makes my grandma's recipe, which I like to tweak on my own to zhuzh it up a little bit. And it ends up having like a substantial amount of protein for jello, right? So bear with me and, and just consider this a little snack if you want and just, you know, add it to your things to make one day. It's really good. For this recipe, you're gonna need one six ounce package of lime jello, one cup of boiling water, three fourths cup of cold water, two cups of low fat cottage cheese, one can of crushed pineapple, and one cup of pecans or any kind of nut, or you can just leave out the nuts, it's optional. First thing you're gonna do is boil your water and then mix in your lime jello. Stir it until all the powder's dissolved, then add in your cold water and stir that. Pour this into a nine by 13 container. You can use one with a lid or not. I don't put a lid on mine. Then add your pineapple and your cottage cheese and blend it well. Put this in your refrigerator for about an hour or so and then pull it out. You wanna blend it, stir it really well together and then sprinkle your nuts on top. Then return this to the refrigerator until it is set. I do this usually the day before I'm gonna serve it. And then once it's set, you're gonna serve and eat. Enjoy. This stuff is so good. I know it seems weird. I know it seems weird, but it's just got this tangy, sweet, kind of like, oh, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. I wanna take a bite, hang on. Mm. Okay, now I can describe it a little bit better. That lime, there's a little tang, and then the pineapples, all the sweetness. And then you don't really taste the cottage cheese. It's more of a texture, but it's good. It adds like, I don't know, some milkiness to it, which the original recipe, I will put that down below too. It does call for milk, but I think that's kind of weird, but it doesn't taste bad. I love the way it tastes at my aunt's house, but I don't know. I just, my mom used to make it a little bit differently and that's kind of what I, got used to. So this is, this is my recipe for it. <laughs> it's really my mom's, but oh, so good. And then the nuts, got that crunch because I need that texture in there. The nuts are perfect. Get a little bit soft when it sits too long. So don't let it sit in your fridge too long. Eat it up. Now the original recipe does call for lime and lemon and I didn't have lemon, but you could try that. So lime and lemon jello and then water, milk, pineapple, and cottage cheese. And of course I added in the nuts for the, for the texture. It just adds a better texture. <laughs> and it takes away from having just to squish on everything. Cause I, I like something that's to the tooth, right? Yeah. So definitely give this a shot. I know jello filled with stuff is kind of weird, but people used to do it all the time. And there was a reason why. It tastes really good. <laughs> it might become your new favorite snack. Who knows? Who knows? Or dessert. It can be eaten as either. So if you try it out, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And if you like this recipe, you're really gonna love this one. And if you don't like this recipe, you might like this one a little bit better. So give it a shot. And hit subscribe. It's lunch with Lisa.